Hey guys, King Cage here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how I reached negative 115,000 meters on a dusty trip. So I was originally recording this video to try to beat my previous record of 70,000 meters. If y'all want to go and check that out, y'all can check that out in one of my previous videos. But I was trying to beat 70,000 meters without trying to be free to play, and I was just trying to spend as much Robux as possible to see how far we could get. But halfway through the journey, our meters actually started to go down, and it put us in negative distance. So in the video i may talk about spending robux to beat my previous record but just go ahead and ignore that but anyway let's just go ahead and hop straight into the video and see how i reached negative 115,000 meters so we are going to be trying to beat our previous record of 70,000 meters but this time we aren't doing it completely free to play so if you all saw my previous video then you all will see that i made it to 70,000 meters and that was somewhat free to play not completely but it was kind of free to play but this time we are going to be seeing how far we can go by using the best things actually we won't don't use the fuel from the other cars because they made it so you actually consume fuel very slowly such as we currently have nine liters of fuel in our car and that is actually enough fuel for us to make it all the way to 15,000 meters. But anyway, we are going to be mainly looking for a V8 engine though. Because the V8 engine is very good now, especially since it doesn't use too much diesel. So hopefully we can find one of those. Well, anyway, we finished building our car. So let's go ahead and attach that. So, so far we are free to play. But if we die, we are going to revive just to see how far we can go. So we are going to be stopping at almost every building we see. Mainly because if we find a better engine, that would be good. But we're also looking for a brand new radiator. Because they added a new radiator that holds three times more than our current one so if we can find that that would be very helpful we now made it to 5,000 meters and we haven't stopped at all and we aren't planning on stopping now so we haven't stopped at any buildings yet mostly because we haven't found any good ones but anyway let's go ahead and quickly pass the bridge and not gonna lie this is probably the fastest i ever made it to 5,000 meters because we didn't stop at all and we were like zooming that entire way but anyway let's go ahead and see if we can make it all the way to 10,000 meters without stopping because if we are able to then i think that might be a record and all right we were actually barely able to make that jump and were we even able to make actually all right let's go ahead and see if we can push ourselves back i'm not sure if this wheel is like helping us or not helping us but i don't think it is so let's try to remove that one and i don't even know how we didn't make that jump i thought we were definitely going fast enough but anyway let's also remove this wheel because i think this wheel is actually stopping us and now let's go over to the corner and if we fall i think we do die so hopefully we don't fall and there we go i think that should be good let's go ahead and push on this side just a little bit more so let's go over here and let's try to push it this way and i did forget to close my gas tank but that's all right i don't think we're gonna get a record for getting to 10,000 meters super fast anymore but we were able to get to 5,000 meters pretty fast we also do need a new engine this one is starting to get very slow especially with all the hills but anyway let's go and keep looking for buildings unlike that one this one is one of the bad buildings that we don't want to stop at so hopefully we are able to find some good ones we're now at 6,000 meters and we finally found a good building so a double garage this is like one of the best anyway let's go and open it up see if there's anything good and all right there's absolutely nothing good in this anyway we'll go and grab some of the food though so let's eat this let's also eat this other chocolate bar but there's nothing we need mainly what we're looking for is just a new radiator and also a new engine which it doesn't have either of those meaning that it doesn't have anything we need so anyway let's go ahead and keep driving and we did just get struck by lightning twice which kind of stinks but anyway let's go ahead and start assembling our car again hopefully we don't get struck by lightning and dang i forgot it makes it so we can't attach those doors hopefully we can still attach the tires because if we can't then that's pretty much the end but anyway now that we don't have doors we are going to take a lot of damage at the 10,000 meter mark, but that shouldn't be too bad because we do have a lot of health. Anyway, let's go and toss that in. Let's make sure the radiator is in as well, even though I don't think it has any water. And now let's go ahead and keep continuing. We now found one of these church buildings, which is actually very good because that means we can get the vampire engine. And since we're not doing this free to play, what we're going to do is we are going to buy a weapon supply crate. So if you want to see a mostly free to play run, then you can go ahead and check out my 70,000 meter video. But we are just seeing how far we can get doing it regularly with buying stuff. But anyway, we're just buying in a weapon supply crate because we don't have any guns and we do need a gun to go ahead and kill the vampire person over there because i don't think that we can just grab the engine and then run away because the vampire person he like teleports to you anyway let's go ahead and crack open all of these and all right this pistol should be good enough which actually we did get the brand new shotgun and dang that's like ruining our van right now yeah we did get the brand new shotgun so let's check this out and see if it is worth it so it looks like the vampire person hasn't spawned yet so let's go ahead and get close enough so he does and all right his head was kind of peeking out and there he is right there and all Oh, right he kind of like stole my gun all right let's go and grab this again let's quickly kill this person and there we go no way that was actually extremely fast i don't think he died i think he just teleported back into the ground actually i think he did die he didn't drop his like sword though so yeah he didn't drop his knife but i think the shotgun actually killed him in only two hits though which is 
pretty insane. Anyway, let's go ahead and shoot this last person. There we go. Leave that behind. So yeah, so it looks like the vampire person did die. Maybe his knife just like fell into the ground or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, we do got a Shrek trophy with the headlight with the engine. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this and let's go ahead and skedaddle out of here. And now that we have this engine, the shoot allows to get to 15,000 meters really fast. Also, by the way, they did fix the vampire engine. So now it doesn't use a crazy amount of fuel. Before, if you traveled a thousand meters, it would use 10 liters of fuel, which was insane. And there we go. Let's go ahead and get our van unstuck. And hopefully it doesn't tip over. And there we go. These other stuff did despawn. Let's go ahead and push that over. And now we can go ahead and swap out our engine. We now have the vampire engine in. Let's go ahead and run away now. And we're already going a lot faster than we used to. That's much nicer. Also, by the way, I am leaving the weapons behind because taking all those weapons feels a little too much like cheating. So we're just going to leave them behind, but we are taking the engine with us. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep going though. And yeah, this engine is already so much better. We are still going to swap it out with the VA engine because this engine, I went ahead and tested it before and it doesn't really work with the radiator. The radiator does work a little bit with it, but this engine overheats way too fast. So even if we do have water in the radiator, it will still manage to overheat. We're now on our way to 10,000 meters and I did just find an upgraded radiator. So we tossed out our old one and here is the brand new one right here. So this holds 15 liters of water, which is much better. And there's also some other weapons such as this RPG. We'll go ahead and take it just so we can test it out one more time at the 20,000 thousand meter mark even though i don't think it's gonna work anyway let's go ahead and eat this last piece of food there we go and now let's just go ahead and continue driving we're now at the 10,000 meter mark so let's go ahead and start to slow down let's make sure we watch out for this dude and we watch out for the rock so there we go very easy to pass that dude so we don't need to worry about anything on our car getting destroyed because we don't really have too much all we have is the rpg and some tires on each side but other than that we don't really have any resources so driving through this area should be pretty easy we shouldn't really take too much damage because we are going fast enough and we managed to get through that area with only two taking a little man damage so now we're pretty much chilling and now we should also get to the 15,000 meter spot pretty quickly and it looks like the solar eclipse event is actually happening right now so let's go ahead and hop out of our car and there it is right there that is actually insane and let's see if anything happens i don't think anything does some people says that it starts damaging you and there it is and yes it does all right it does start damaging so i think it's only if we look at it so let's look down now let's go ahead and look at it and yeah it only damages you if you look up at it that is quite strange so that was a pretty cool event nothing really happens though it pretty much just covers the sun and then if you look at it it starts damaging you but yeah i did go ahead and pass so we might as well just continue our journey now we did crash and it did flip all the way over and i didn't realize that i had nothing on the roof but luckily we did crash next to a double garage so i was able to find some dynamite so i tried pushing it over but it's like nearly impossible to push it over by hand if you have nothing on the roof so hopefully this piece of dynamite right here can flip it over so i tried using the rpg to flip it over that did not work but anyway let's go ahead and light it place it down that Back up and hopefully this works and all right it actually kind of did so what we can do let's actually go ahead and remove this so it is kind of out of slant but now since it's out of slant maybe we can push it over and i think we just messed it up and it's pretty much no longer out of slant also i forgot to take the wheels off so now the wheels like blew everywhere i think there's one over there one right there one all the way over there so that does kind of sink but hopefully there are some more wheels in the garage over here i've now been trying to flip over the van for quite a while i even used dynamite like three different times and it wouldn't work so i just kept calling in supply drops i called in three more supply drops on top of the three that i called earlier and one finally flipped it over so it flipped it over onto its side but now from here we do have to flip it over even more and there we go let's go awesome so that is actually perfect i've been trying to flip it over for like maybe like 20 minutes now but anyway now that we flipped it over we can go ahead and start tossing all these things back in and now we can continue driving to 15,000 meters we now made it to the 15,000 meter mark which is awesome so let's go ahead and start stop here and yeah we went way too far so let's go ahead and back up a little bit and there we go so now let's go ahead and remove this engine though because this engine is not very good i wouldn't say it's as good as the va engine it does go fast but it overheats even though we do have water in our radiator yeah we still have 10 liters of water and it constantly overheats pretty often so let's go ahead and grab the va engine right here and let's also go ahead and empty out all of our gas we only have 0.3 liters so it's not that much but anyway let's go ahead and take this wheel off and now we should just be able to push it over there we go empty out the gas and now we can go ahead and fill it up with diesel we now finish fueling up our van with diesel attaching all the cans to it and then yeah so let's go ahead and continue the journey though so now the next area that we're gonna stop is 20,000 meters and i accidentally just drove into a tornado so that was pretty unlucky and anyway, let's hop out and all of our wheels are gone so luckily our engine is still right there 
is our radiator and no, our radiator is gone so we have a wheel right there right there right there and over there so we do know where the wheels are and i think that's the radiator all the way over there so i'm gonna go ahead and collect the ones far away while i wait for the tornado to despawn and hopefully it doesn't continue picking up the tires and no it picked up my car once again all right well hopefully it doesn't fling it too far and i think it's actually bringing it closer and no it's like pretty much in the same position i don't think anything else fell off of it which is good for now i'll just gather everything in a pile so it doesn't get caught up by the tornado again and it looks like we did as well it looks like it flung me like all the way across the map so it flung me like 500 meters away so i gotta go ahead and run all the way back over there so i see the car right there I'm not really sure what happened to the engine and stuff though. So that kind of sinks. Which actually looks like our VA engine is over there. Alright, not too sure how that fell out of the car. But anyway, let's grab the VA engine because we don't need the vampire one. But we do still need wheels for our car. So luckily we did find this. But hopefully we can find the radiator and wheels. We now gathered everything we need. We managed to gather all the wheels again. We are leaving behind the vampire engine because we don't really need it. And I don't feel like walking all the way back over there. So out of this, we lost the vampire engine and then just a canister of oil over there but other than that we're pretty much chilling once again so we're now luckily able to continue hopefully we don't crash again though we now made it to 20,000 meters so now what we're gonna do is i think we're just gonna walk up to them and die because we can't drive around because there's actually like an invisible wall here for cars not sure if it's there for like a regular person like i think i can run over there but there is an invisible wall for cars so as i tried driving my car around it and it didn't work because it hit the wall and then i just tried driving it behind the building but then it actually glitched out and broke. So anyway, I'll go ahead and try my best to just run past them, see if there's anything we can find. So let's go ahead and run over here. So let's see if there's any dynamite, but if there's not any dynamite, then we're pretty much just done for. And yeah, there's absolutely nothing over here we can use. I guess we could use this bowling ball and never mind. But if y'all didn't know, if you die and then if you go ahead and respawn, they all just like disappear. If we go ahead and land on the map and all right, I thought we were about to fall into the void. But anyway, if we go ahead and run up here, as you can see, they all just despawn, which is kind of strange. But that is a tip that you can use. You do get one free revive every day. So I recommend using it over here. So anytime you get to 20,000 meters, just go ahead and die. And then they'll all despawn. Because if you guys join their group, you do get a free revive. So pretty much anyone can do this. But anyway, we're just going to go ahead and drive straight through this now. Because we don't need any of the loot from there. Because we're already stacked up on everything else. And we have enough diesel to last us until like 500,000 meters. So we don't need to collect any of this stuff over here. So we're just going to go ahead and drive straight through it just like this. And now we're just going go ahead and continue our journey so there's no more big obstacles like that and dang the road was slippery right there yeah there's no more big obstacles like that so now all we have to do is avoid tornadoes and such and now we should pretty much be good to travel as far as we want to we now passed 50,000 meters and we're still doing pretty good i haven't fueled up our car at all since the 15,000 meter checkpoint so that's pretty surprising and i was gonna stop for food but it looks like there's absolutely no loot there but we need to go ahead and stop for food my hunger has been going down extremely slow though i'm not too sure what happened to it but usually goes down really fast but it's been going down a lot slower recently but anyway there is a building up here so we'll go ahead and stop here we'll see how much fuel we have left and then we'll also go ahead and grab some food so let's see how much water so we still have 3.9 liters of water and we still have 17.2 liters of diesel and then we still have 2.9 liters of oil that's pretty surprising because we haven't fueled up at all since the 15,000 meter checkpoint so we're doing pretty good right now anyway let's go ahead and see if there's any food in here there is this which is pretty nice and nice there is some bread and some chocolate back here and let's see if there's anything else and uh, nothing else in here kind of stinks well anyway let's just go ahead and keep driving and reach 70,000 meters we now made it to 50,000 meters once again so we are kind of like stuck in this cycle right now where our meters just keep going down we are still going the right way i made sure so we're going the right way but for those who don't know there is like this glitch where we'll start subtracting your distance so that's what's doing right now but i spent so long doing this so i'm just gonna see if there's an end to it so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep following this way until i reach maybe like 20,000 meters and i'm gonna see what what happens we now reach less than 20,000 meters and it looks like we didn't find another ghost town which is kind of surprising i kind of thought we would find another one but anyway we're still going into the negatives which is very surprising so we went from 58,000 all the way to 20,000 and it's still going down also by the way we are on the right path because as you can see the telephone poles are on the right so i think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and keep driving and see if we can get into the negatives because if we hit zero and then start going into the negatives that would be pretty surprising we now reached less than a 
1000 meters and we're still going. So I'm surprised we're still going down. So technically we traveled 115,000 meters. It just doesn't show it at the top because we traveled to 58,000 meters and then we traveled all the way back down. We're still going the right way. It's just for some reason it's counting down. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what happens once we hit zero though. And yep, we went ahead and hit zero and it looks like we don't go into the negatives. That is actually insane. So it's not even counting our distance anymore. That is crazy. I was hoping that would start counting into the negatives because technically we're still going this way, but it looks like pretty much just nothing happened. So we could just go ahead and keep driving, but nothing would happen. So we traveled to 58,000 meters and then it started going downwards and we traveled all the way back down. So technically we traveled over 116,000 meters. That is insane. It really stinks that I started counting down though. But yeah, very surprised that we made it this far. Well, there's pretty much nothing left. It feels like it's starting to get like a little laggier every like thousand meters we travel. But anyway, we found this garage right here. So we might as well loot it. As you can see, our distance isn't even going up while we're traveling this way. But anyway, let's go and see what is over here. And all right, there is some stuff. And are these people even gonna attack us? And yes, they will. All right. Well, anyway, we technically traveled 116,000 meters. But anyway, let's just go ahead and die and see what happens. It's probably gonna display 58,000 though. But let's just go ahead and see what happens. So it says we traveled 33,000 meters. That is strange. I'm not really sure how it got that number. Yeah, so we reached 33,000 meters. I have no idea how it got that number because before it said 58,000 meters last time I died and now it says 33,000 meters. So I'm not sure how it got that number at all. Anyway, let's go ahead and return back to the lobby though. Well, that is how I went ahead and reached negative distance though on a dusty trip. So that's gonna be all for this video. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications and I'll see y'all in the next video.